What if Doctor Who had been kind of for 1989? As you know, I've been doing this for the past few weeks. So now, let's get on to 2011, season 48. Season 48 would have been the third season for David Fouché as the Doctor, the third season for Georgia Moffat as Jenny, and the third season and the final season for Matthew Beard as Arthur. And it's also going to be the last season for Georgia Moffat. In the year 2106, the world is about to be overwhelmed by a disaster that might destroy human civilization in the inversion of Earth's magnetic field. Deep in the Arctic base, the flipback team is frantically devising a system to reverse the change in polarity. Above them, if the FF Elysium carries its jet f- f- passengers on and the ultimate cruise, on board is Ruby Duval, a journalist f- to record the flip back monument. Instead, she finds a man called the Doctor who is locked out of a strange green box. He says in, in merely a part of his time machine, uh, and she finds old enemies for the Doctor, silver giants at work beneath the ice. This story would have been a Cyber Man story. Our next episode is called Mutant of the Dalek. The Doctor. Jenny and Arthur land on the Earth in the far future and they find the last five living Daleks who are the Supreme Daleks. However, their mutants inside are dying from the years of radiation poisoning and sickness and side effects caused by it. The Doctor can't do anything for him unless he f- saves his greatest enemies. But will he do it? Our next episode is The Sirens of Axoth. The Doctor, Jenny and Arthur land in San Francisco. And they find that underneath the Golden Break- Gate Bridge is a spaceship that's just crashed. But there's some strange red and sort of, of tangles, like... Seems like noodles, but it's not noodles. They find out what it is, and then when they go inside, they feel the goo on the wall. It's Axos. Axons have returned. Our next episode is Conscience. The Doctor, Jenny, and Arthur meet the Master, the Doctor's oldest enemy. However, he needs the Doctor's help. As even though he got his new regeneration cycle, or from the Doctor, uh, he can't, mm, can't regenerate anymore. He needs his help. Oop. So the Doctor brings him the Gallifrey. Right, to find one of the sisterhoods of Khan under, underneath the Fidel. However, he fails. And then they go to Khan, and then they give them after the elixir of life. And then Regenerations are back. Our next episode is called Reunion. The Doctor, Jenny, and Arthur meet the Doctor's old friend, the Justin, in Stockbridge. However, Stockbridge has always been a place for ghosts, and that's what's happening now. And Ian is haunted by one of them, which is Barbara. What can the Doctor do? Can he protect his old friend? Or can he not stop the ghost? This episode would have been the return of Ian Chufterton. Our finale is called Ghosts of the Past. The Doctor meets his old incarnation, his first incarnation. Um, he feels that he needs his help um, he, for some reason. In the next regeneration, and it's not happening. He's not regenerating in the tenth planet, so he needs his help to stop whoever is doing this. This episode will seen David Bradley play the first Doctor because William Hartnell was long dead. And at the end of the episode, David Bradley does regenerate into the second Doctor. Also in that episode, Jenny and Arthur leave the Doctor, and there you go, Doctor Who, season forty-eight. The uh, the um, third season for um, Dave, um, um, David Fouché of The Doctor 
and the next video I'll see you in is season 49, 2012.